For the sake of this section, we start from the point after you've gotten out, looked around to ensure there's no surprises behind you, above you, or on the ground. You've rolled down your window, turned off your radio, activated your four-way flashers, and sounded your horn. When you're straight line back, you want to make sure that your tractor and trailer are all lined up. You should be able to look out each mirror and see a straight line down the side of your trailer. You want your truck in the lowest reverse gear. Don't use any throttle, just ease out on the clutch and try to keep a straight line down the side of the trailer as you're backing. Remember to look out both sides of your truck and watch for any amount of drift. If there's a little bit of drift, remember, make real small corrections. If you overdo your correction, you're going to have to recorrect in the opposite direction. So just keep a sight line down the side of that trailer and straight line backing will be real easy for you. Another basic maneuver that you may get into is a 45 degree angle parking. This is where you get into a situation where you won't be able to pull the truck straight ahead and then back straight into a parking spot or say a loading dock. Watch this situation and we'll discuss it as we go. You're pulling forward in your truck and there's only one spot left for you to back into. As you can see, there's not enough room for you to pull straight out and back straight into that parking spot. So what we've got to do is our 45 degree angle parking. As you pull in perpendicular to that parking spot, just as the front of your truck goes to the left side of that parking spot, turn your steering wheel hard to the right. As you pull around and your truck gets in about the 12 o'clock position, by 12 o'clock we mean directly ahead of the nose of your truck, you'll be looking directly away from the spot you want to park in. Then begin to turn your steering wheel to the left to about the 10 o'clock position. Pull up until you're in a straight line. This will put you at a 45 degree angle to that parking spot. At this point, you want to set your brakes and turn on your flashers. Get out of your truck, go back and inspect the spot to make sure everything's still clear. Nobody's behind you and you understand the situation so you can back safely into that spot. Once you've determined that, get back in the truck, turn on your flashers if you haven't already done so, put the truck in the lowest reverse gear, and begin your backing. As you do this, turn your steering wheel to the right. Remember, this turns the rear of your trailer to the left. As you reach the spot where you want to straighten out, correct by turning your steering wheel back in the opposite direction. This will bring your tractor and your trailer into a straight line and you should be able to back into that spot. Of course, you're going to have to make a few corrections along the way. The important thing to remember when performing this maneuver is to take your time and back as slowly as you can. Another of the basic maneuvers is straight back parking. Straight back parking is real similar to 45 degree angle parking. The main difference is you've got enough room to pull your truck forward far enough so you can back straight into the spot you want to get into. In other words, there's no obstruction out in front of you. As you can see from this situation, you're going to be running perpendicular to the spot that you want to park in. As your truck gets to the left side of that spot, that's when you need to begin your turn to the right. It may look from this situation that you've gone way too far, but remember, you're pulling a long trailer. You have to allow for the off-tracking of that trailer. So. You turn your wheel hard to the right and pull forward at the same time. As you pull around, you will see in your mirrors that the back of the trailer will come in line with that parking spot. Once you have your tractor and trailer lined up with that spot, you need to secure the tractor, get out, and check behind you to make sure there are no obstructions, and see if you can find a spotter while you're back there. Once you've done that, immediately get back in the tractor, turn on your flashers, sound your horn, and back slowly into the parking spot following any directions from your spotter. Parallel parking a tractor trailer is a lot like parking a car. You want to pull up next to the vehicle or the spot you're going to be parking in. And you want your rearmost tractor axles about eight feet forward of the spot where you want the front of your rig to end up. You need to be three to five feet from the size of the vehicle you're parking next to. Once you're in that position, you need to set your brakes, turn on your flashers, Get out and look behind you to make sure everything is clear and safe. Once you've done that, quickly get back into the cab and turn your wheel hard to the left. 
This will point the rear of your trailer right into the spot. As you begin your backing, wait till your trailer is about halfway into the spot. Then turn your wheel hard to the right. This will swing the trailer around and bring you parallel with the curb or the spot you're parking in. Now continue backing, then turn your wheel hard back to the left. This will bring your tractor in line with your trailer. It's helpful a lot of times if you leave the front of your tractor pointing a few degrees to the left, so that when you exit that